Do you know who measures the Earth's circumference? This was measured by the mathematician, poet, geographer, astronomer, and music theorist named Eratosthenes. He was born in 271 BC in Cyrene, now known as Libya in Africa. He studied at Plato's school in Athens. He was the chief librarian of the Great Library of Alexandria. He was the father of geography, at the same time, the first to coin the term geography. Here are some of his contributions. 1. The measurements of Earth's circumference. He used shadows and angles of the sun and the distance between the city of Alexandria and Syene. 2. The measurements of tilt of Earth's axis. 3. Discovered armillary sphere. This is an instrument to predict the motion of stars. 4. Discovery of calendar having a leap year. 5. He provided an algorithm to find the prime numbers. This was called sieve of Eratosthenes. Did you know that you are facing the Islamic father of algebra? He was a Muslim mathematician, astronomer, and geographer named Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. He was born in Persia around c. 780 and died around c. 850. He was a scholar in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. His role was to translate Greek scientific manuscripts. Famous Works his first work was Al-Kitab al-Mukhtar fi Isb al-Jabr wa makabala or the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing. The term algebra was derived in this work of Al-Khwarizmi. Al-Jabr to Algebra In his second work, he introduced Hindu-Arabic numerals. This work was Algorithmi de Numero in Dorum or Al-Khwarizmi concerning the Hindu art of reckoning. The term algorithm was derived from his name as a result of translation in Latin. His third book was Kitab Rat Alar or The Image of the Earth. This book was about geography. Did you know? The man that you are facing is known as the Prince of Mathematics. He was Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss, a German mathematician born in 1777. Gauss became one of the most influential mathematician in history. At the age of eight, his teacher was amazed when he added the integers from 1 to 100 in a very quick manner. At the age of 12, he was already attending gymnasium and criticizing Euclid's geometry. Here are some of his contributions. Prove the law of quadratic reciprocity. 2. Formulated Gauss Lemma. 3. Prove the Theorema Egregium, a major theorem in the differential geometry of curved surfaces. 4. Invented the Gaussian or normal probability distribution. 5. Constructed the 17-sided heptadecagon using ruler and compass. 6. First to introduce the term complex numbers. Did you know? The person that you are facing is known as the father of problem solving in mathematics education. He is Dr. George Paglia. He was born in 1887 in Hungary and died in 1985 in USA. He was the author of the classic works, How to Solve It, Mathematics and Plausible Reasoning, and Mathematical Discovery. These books encouraged students to become thoughtful and independent problem solvers. He devised a method for problem solving. This method consists of four steps. Step 1. Understand the problem. This phase is about understanding the situation, knowing what is asked, and listing the available information. Step 2. Devise a plan. This phase is making a plan to solve the problem using the available information. Step 3. Carry out the plan. This is the part where you are going to solve. Step 4. Look back. Go back to the problem, check your answers and make an interpretation. Did you know? The man that you are facing is known as the father of modern analysis. He was Karl Weierstrass, a German mathematician and teacher born in Germany in 1815. He abandoned the law school and trained as a school teacher. He spent nearly 15 years teaching at elementary schools German villages. Contributions He devised tests for the convergence of series. He contributed to the theory of periodic functions, functions of real variables, 
elliptic functions, abelian functions, converging infinite products, and the calculus of variations. He also advanced the theory of bilinear and quadratic forms.